Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you've taken the time to join us today. Whether you're tuning in for the first time or you've been with us before, I want you to know that your presence here matters. It's no accident that you're here in this moment, and I truly believe that God has something special to speak into your life today. Sometimes we go through our days feeling like things are out of control, as if we're simply reacting to the chaos and uncertainty around us. Maybe you felt that way recently, overwhelmed by the pressures of life, unsure of what tomorrow holds, or carrying burdens that seem too heavy to bear. But, my friend, I want to remind you that in the middle of all this, God is extending to you a gift. It's not just any gift. It's the gift of His peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding. This peace isn't based on the circumstances you face or the chaos around you. It's a peace that comes from knowing that no matter what's happening in the world or in your life, God is in control. His peace anchors us when everything else seems to be shifting. So, take a deep breath and let the worries of the day fade away for a moment, because God has something important to share with you today. He's offering you His peace, and it's yours to receive. As you face the challenges of life, remember the comforting words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14, 27 KGV Jesus knew that we would face moments of uncertainty, hardship and fear. He didn't promise us a life free from difficulties, but he did promise us something even greater. His peace. The peace that Jesus offers is not the temporary, fragile peace the world tries to give. The world's peace is often based on external circumstances. When things are going well, we feel at ease, but when troubles arise, that peace can quickly vanish. But the peace of God is altogether different. It is deep, lasting, and anchored in His unshakable love and faithfulness. This peace doesn't depend on the absence of problems, but on the presence of God in your life. No matter what storms you face, whether it's the stress of daily life, personal struggles or overwhelming fears, God's peace is available to you. It's a peace that can calm the storm within, even when the storm outside rages on. When Jesus says, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid, he's reminding us that we don't have to be shaken by the trials of life. We have access to a peace that transcends the natural response to fear and anxiety. This peace flows from the heart of a loving Father who knows exactly what you're going through, and He promises to walk with you through it all. So when life feels overwhelming and your heart is tempted to be troubled, remember this. God's peace is not a distant, unreachable promise. It is here, right now, available to you. You don't have to earn it or fight for it. It is a gift freely given by Jesus to sustain you and carry you through every challenge. Allow his peace to guard your heart and mind, keeping you steady and secure no matter what comes your way. Let's take a moment to reflect on Isaiah 26, 3 KJV. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. This verse contains a powerful promise, a promise of perfect peace. But notice that this peace isn't something we can create or manufacture on our own. It's a peace that God himself keeps us in when our minds are fixed on him. When we focus on God, on his goodness, his promises and his faithfulness, our hearts are kept in this perfect peace. It's not about denying the reality of the difficulties we face, but about shifting our gaze away from the chaos and onto the one who is greater than the storm. To keep our minds stayed on God means we actively choose to trust Him no matter what circumstances we're in. It's a deliberate decision to remind ourselves of His promises and His unchanging nature, especially when life feels unstable. This peace doesn't mean that life will always be easy or that we won't encounter trials. In fact, Jesus said in John 16.33 that we would face trouble in this world. But even in the midst of difficulties, God offers us peace, a peace that transcends understanding, a peace that can calm our hearts even when everything around us seems to be falling apart. Take a moment to consider, are there areas in your life where you've struggled to trust God fully? Maybe it's a financial situation, a relationship, your health, or an uncertain future. We all have places where fear and anxiety try to creep in, convincing us that we need to figure things out on our own.
But this verse invites us to surrender those worries to God, trusting that He will keep us in peace when we rest in Him. Surrendering to God doesn't mean we stop caring or become passive. It means we actively choose to place our trust in Him. It's releasing the things we can't control into the hands of the One who controls everything. And as we do that, God's peace begins to fill the spaces where anxiety and fear once lived. So today, I encourage you to ask yourself, what are the areas of your life where you need to let go and trust God more? As you surrender those things to Him, experience the fullness of His peace. This perfect peace isn't just for someone else, it's for you, and it's available right now. Beloved, one of the most powerful ways we can access the peace of God is by bringing all our cares, concerns, and worries to Him in prayer. It's easy to let the weight of life's problems settle on our shoulders, to feel overwhelmed by things we cannot control. But the Bible gives us a clear and beautiful invitation to respond differently. In Philippians 4, 6, 7, KJV, we are reminded, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. These verses are a divine invitation to exchange our anxieties for His peace. The phrase, be careful for nothing, means that we are not to be anxious or worried about anything. That doesn't mean life will be free of concerns or that we won't face challenges, but instead of allowing those worries to consume us, we are encouraged to bring every single one of them to God in prayer. Nothing is too small or too big to bring before Him. He wants to hear it all. Notice that Paul emphasizes prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is key because it shifts our focus from the problem to the provider. When we thank God even in the middle of our struggles, we are expressing faith in His goodness and faithfulness. We are acknowledging that He is in control, and we trust Him to handle our needs. This act of thanksgiving allows us to release the burden and open our hearts to receive His peace. And what happens when we pray and bring our requests to God? The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. What a beautiful promise. This peace is not just a fleeting feeling of calm. It's a peace that guards and protects both our hearts and our minds. It's a peace that goes beyond what we can comprehend. Even when it doesn't make sense to be at peace, when everything around us is chaotic or uncertain, God's peace holds us steady. This peace is not something we can manufacture on our own. It's not about pretending everything is okay or ignoring the challenges we face. It's about allowing God to fill our hearts with His peace as we lay our burdens at His feet. And it's not something we experience just once. It's a peace that we can live in day by day. Each time we pray, each time we surrender our worries to God, we make space for His peace to fill our hearts again. So if you're feeling anxious today, remember this. God is inviting you to bring your worries to Him. You don't have to carry them on your own. As you turn to Him in prayer, He will replace your anxiety with His peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding. It may not make sense to the world around you, but it will be real, and it will be yours to live in day by day. Trust Him, beloved, and let His peace guard your heart and mind today and always. And how do we continue to walk in this peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding? The answer is beautifully simple, yet deeply profound. By casting all our cares upon Him, in 1 Peter 5, 7, KJV, we are reminded, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. This verse is a gentle, loving invitation from God himself. He is asking you to release the burdens you've been carrying, to let go of the worries that weigh heavy on your heart, and to place them in his capable hands. The word casting here gives the image of throwing or heaving something away, suggesting a complete and total surrender of our burdens. It's not about holding on to them while trying to fix things ourselves. It's about releasing them fully to the one who cares for us deeply. You don't have to carry the weight of your struggles, worries, and anxieties alone. Whether it's fear about the future, concerns about your family, financial stress, or emotional turmoil, God is inviting you to bring it all to Him. He cares for you more than you can imagine. 
Sometimes we hesitate to give our worries to God, thinking they might be too small or too personal. But God cares about every detail of your life. Nothing is too insignificant for Him. He loves you, and His desire is for you to live in peace, not in the constant state of anxiety or stress that the world often imposes on us. When you cast your cares on God, you are choosing to trust in His love and provision. You are acknowledging that He is in control and that you don't have to carry these burdens by yourself. And as you do this, the peace of God can reign in your heart, filling those places where worry once resided. It's a daily, sometimes moment-by-moment -moment act of trust, releasing your worries into God's hands and believing that He will take care of you, no matter what the world throws at you. Whether it's uncertainty, challenges or hardship, God's peace can keep you steady and secure. Life may bring storms, but you can stand firm, anchored in the peace that comes from knowing God is in control. This doesn't mean that the troubles will disappear, but it does mean that you won't face them alone. God's peace will sustain you, helping you navigate life's difficulties with a calm, steady heart. So today I encourage you to ask yourself, what are the burdens you're carrying? Where do you feel weighed down by worries or stress? Take a moment to consciously cast those cares upon the Lord. Picture yourself laying them at His feet, knowing that He cares for you deeply and is more than able to handle everything that concerns you. As you do this, allow His peace to fill the spaces where anxiety once lived and trust that His love will sustain you. Remember, the peace of God isn't something you have to strive for. It's something you receive by letting go and trusting Him. He is with you and His peace will guard your heart and mind, keeping you secure in His love. Finally, rest in the promise that God's peace is not just a fleeting experience, something that comes and goes based on the circumstances of the moment. No, it is a lasting, steadfast peace, one that is with you not just for today, but always. In Hebrews 13, 5, KJEV, we find this incredible assurance from God, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee.